Hello and welcome to the third Servlet and GSP tutorial. Let's start by copying our Web2 project and pasting it under a new name. Let's call it Web3. There we go. And the next thing, let's right click on it, go to properties, search for web and then web project settings and change it from web 2 to web 3. This will make sure that our project is deployed under the web 3 URL root context. So this will make sure that our project is deployed under the web 3 URL root instead of the web 2 URL root. So we need to make this correction so that the deployment path will match will match the project name. Okay, we made this change to web three, and now we can continue and actually uh, work on the main objective of this tutorial. The main objective. Let's go to web content, ten web inf views add passenger JSP. That's the JSP file we created in the previous tutorial. And now we're going to use it to add a form. The form will have a functionality to add a new passenger to the airline data system. So we will have, so we will have a form that's responsible for adding new passenger information to the airline system. So let's create the important parts of the form. So this is in the JSP. We use HTML form, we use an HTML form. Action is add passenger. And method is post. There we go. We got the form and let's put our first input field name first, Oops. first name type text. So it's an input field to enter the passenger's first name and it's a text input field. And let's here put first name label. Okay. Before we continue, let me mention something important. Let's discuss something that's that's important. We notice that the action is to the add passenger URL. So when we submit the form, the form will go to add passenger. And you might find this a little bit surprising because Notice that this URL is already used. In our servlet, we also have the servlet mapped to add passenger. So when we go to web3, add passenger, and if the project was running and we were to click enter right now, then what would happen is that the do get method would be invoked and we would have the add passenger JSP displayed. And the add passenger JSP is our form. Okay, so if this URL is leading us to the form itself, leading us to the leading us to the add passenger JSP, how can I also use it as the location to which I submit the form? How can I use it for two different purposes? And this is the key point in this tutorial is that in addition to the do get method that we have here, we also have a do post method right here. And when the browser goes to the add passenger URL, then this method and everything that happens here, the do get method and everything inside it gets invoked. But when we submit the form through the post method, then 
the do get is ignored completely as though it did not as though it did not exist and what really happens what really gets invoked is the do post method and in the do post method we can process the form submission we can process the inputs that were submitted from the form and that way we can use the same url and the same servlet for two different purposes one purpose is the do get that happens when we go with the browser to that url and this will display the form and the second purpose is the do post when we make a post of the form to that url and the do post purpose the do post method here will process the submitted form information that's how one url that can be used for two purposes one for displaying the form another for submitting and processing the form okay that was the key part point to understand in this tutorial okay we've done with the java part of the tutorial and the rest is just entering a lot of html markup so now because we've done with the java part i'm going to go pretty fast on entering the html markup because uh th th these are just simple html tags that are meant to make our form more aesthetic more, more nicer looking and as such since there are no java just you know just simple html just to yeah again to just make our form just more aesthetic then i'm not i'm not going to um stop at every tag stop for every html element because i already explained how the form war actually works so i'm just going to add all those elements real quick i just add all those html elements real quick but it, it to, but the I already discussed the functionality of the form entirely. So what I said about the form and about its action URL is all that we really need to know about it. The rest of the page is just HTML tags for aesthetics. It's it's not we don't need to uh, you know worry about them in detail. These are not Java Java or JSP tags. These are just basic HTML elements. So let me go ahead and uh, oops, and quickly add all the all these different HTML elements so that we'll have a nicer looking page. Let's add the container. add a title passenger and then I would go we'll put a field set here and again like you know everything works the form the form works without all those extra HTML tags all these extra HTML elements are simply for for really aesthetic purposes. So okay, and then here we go. And here let's um, put this inside the label. Impute label. If you'd like, not to, if you don't really want to type all this HTML, then what you can do is simply go to the code that is attached to this tutorial and just copy and paste it onto your at passenger JSP. As long as you understand how the action to the add passenger 
URL works, as I explained previously, with the do post method, then that's all the all the Java part of this tutorial. The rest is just again just to enter all the different HTML tags. Let's uh, put here div class impute field. Yeah, if this was Java, I would have had, believe me, I would have had explained everything in detail. I would not have had just, you know, would not have had just went so quickly and, and not really stopping to explain anything that's related to Java. You know, I, I go, I explain in detail, I stop, I carefully explain everything that happens. And just because it's simple HTML that, um, not really, you know, going and explaining every single line. And again, all this HTML is just to beautify the form. Okay, now we got four input fields. One, the other one is last name. It works exactly like the first name input field. This is just the last name input field. Input field. Just like the first name here, we're getting the last name. Uh, then we also have a date of birth. And uh, we can put DOB and here we can put DOB as well. Okay, and here uh, I was thinking to put gender and gender could be a drop down selection. So gender could be um, drop down selection. Um, so we could do use a select label select tag, and here in the select tag name equals to gender, and put let's put the two option option value male and then male and then let's close the option tag and then here option value female female and let's close the option tag well there we go i think we're almost done here um now we just need i suppose we just need a submit a submit button so we'll be able to submit the form let's add the submit button input field And here is the but submit button input. And again, the only reason I'm going this quickly here is because this is just HTML. This is not Java. This is just a simple HTML form with lots of different HTML tags here. But I explained the principle, the concept of how it works in the beginning of this tutorial. There we go, and at the end we finished. I'm going to press Control Shift F to format, and I believe this is all we need. And this this is all we need. This is our form. Notice that in addition to the first name, we have first name, last name, date of birth, and gender input fields. Well, there we go, uh, and this is all for this tutorial. We created our form. In the next tutorials, we will see how we use it to submit a new passenger to our servlet. In the meantime, thank you very much and um, hopefully you join me in the next tutorials.